everybody, welcome to Queer Girl Straight Skates. I'm Rebel and today I am unboxing the Arizona Ice Tea times Moxie Roller Skates DIY Beach Bunnies. I'm so excited. Queer Girl Straight Skates is a YouTube channel all about roller skating. So if you love roller skating, or if you want to love roller skating, then go ahead and hit subscribe and click that notification bell so that you can get notified when I post, which is typically on Tuesdays. And head on over to cheersofthequeers.com because there's so much cute stuff. It's my small business. If you like accessories and alternative things and roller skate accessories, you're gonna find it all right there. So let's jump right into it. I'm super excited. I have not yet opened this box. I've been waiting for this exact moment. I've been waiting just for you because I wanna know what it's like, but I also want a genuine reaction for you. So I've been waiting, but today is the day and it is the time, so let's open it together. So Arizona Ice Tea, Moxie Roller Skates, they did a collab. So they have two parts of their collab, to the best of my knowledge. There's a video with like a Moxie Roller Skate group and then Arizona Ice Tea that I was in when we went to New York and it was so much fun and we skated around. There's a Moxie Jack 2 that has Arizona Ice Tea all over it. Like it has, not like actual literal Arizona Ice Tea, but like it has the Arizona Ice Tea design on it and it's embroidered onto it and it is stunning. But I'm gonna talk about those in another video because today what I'm talking about is the Beach Bunnies. Now, the Moxie Beach Bunnies are a vibe. They are a moment. They are more affordable than the Jacks and the Lollies. They are super durable. You can pretty much use them for whatever you want. I've seen people shredding at the park in them. I've seen people dance skating in them. I've seen people trail skating in them. And I've done all of those things. And I actually don't really know what these look like or what color they are, but I hear that there's like some DIY aspect to it. So let's open it up. First impressions though are that this box is so freaking cute, like no lie. Okay, check it out. First off, it's like a boom box. And then on the sides, it has the cherry blossom from Arizona. And this is the front, let me see this side. And then this is the back and it has all the Arizona designs and logos and stickers and it's a vibe. This is the top of it. Yeah. So I got a Moxie Arizona size eight and that is the size that I wear in the Beach Bunnies. So let's open this bad boy up. Ooh, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. Should I show it to you first before I open it? Here, let me see. Okay, ready? You're gonna get to see it first. Oh my God, wait, what? Oh, they are so cute. Oh my gosh, look at these. Okay, so they are this Moxie Beach Bunny, which I can't remember what the color title of this is. I think sky blue, I don't know but so cute and they have this like pink vibe to them, look. So they're this beautiful blue that is very reminiscent of the Arizona iced tea and then this pink similar to the cherry blossom. This beach bunny lining, which we love the beach bunny lining, it's so cute. I'm pretty sure it was designed by Bambi Bloodlust. We've got this Moxie keychain and the Moxie logo is in pink. And then it has these wheels that are the Moxie roller skates. I think they're, they're 70. Oh yeah, they're 78A and they're the Beach Bunny wheels. They even have like little bunnies. And then a adjustable toe stop and the wheels are glittery and pink. So cute. Beach bunnies are great, but hey, bitch, to break in. So I'm gonna spend some time breaking these in after we do all of it. But oh my God, look. Okay, so inside the pack, I have some wheels. These are the Zen Sonar wheels. 
Okay, so I think I'm supposed to put these on there to make it even more Arizona iced tea. And then, oh my gosh, crisscross laces. Oh, cute. We've got the crab tool. So when you buy this pack, you're actually getting all of these things that come with it. The extra wheels, the laces, the toe covers, the crab tool, the little Moxie logo, keychain, and you get to decide how to DIY this kit. And you can get it from drinkarizona.com for $184.99. I'm just so excited. This is so fun. Ooh, and it has some toe covers, which I love that about the Beach Bunny, that it has toe covers that come with it because a girl is always out here just ruining the front of my skates every single time. So look how cute these are. I am obsessed. I will definitely be putting those on. So I feel like, like let's just DIY up these skates. Oh, look at this. We've got stickers. Oh, we've got stickers to put on our skates. Oh, we should do this, right? I think we should do this. Okay, it's a patch, repair, or flare. Oh, okay, so clean the area with alcohol, remove loose threads, crack and peel paper release liner, center patch. I don't know, I think we're just gonna stick them on there. I think we're just gonna try it. Cause you know me and directions. <laughs> Terrible at them. So bad at them. I just feel like I could just stick it on there and it'll work. But look at this, look at this sticker pack though. I'm not sure which way is up. It might be this way. There's like Arizona iced tea stuff and moxie skates and the cherry blossoms. I am unsure which I like better. Do I like better? Oh, there's a couple of them in here. Perfect, so we could do it to both skates. I am unsure if I like, oh wait, look, there's also an Arizona iced tea keychain. Oh, this is cute. Look how cute this is. Oh my gosh, I am obsessed with this right now. Ah, what's your favorite flavor of Arizona iced tea? Mine used to be just like the standard one, but then I tried the honey one and I was like, oh my gosh. And then I tried the Arnold Palmer one, the twisted tea, and I was like, ah! And then I was like, okay, I guess I'm just in love with this. Guess I'm just in love with Arizona iced tea. So I can't decide whether I leave it like this or if I should put these bad boys on. Why don't I do one where I leave it and one where I put these on and then we'll have a vote and whichever one gets the most comments, um, that's how I'll change my the other skate too and then I'll skate around in them. Sound good? Great. <laughs> Okay, so this one also has this little tube in there, but we took them out, and so I am gonna make sure the skate is all good, and then I'm gonna decorate these skates with these patches. Yeah! All right, you wanna see, you wanna see what I'm doing up close? Because we can do that for you. On the first skate, what we're gonna do is we're just going to put the toe cap and the stickers on because fun. And then the second skate, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put, we're gonna switch out the wheels, switch out the laces, put the toe cap on, and also decorate. Oh my God, Bowie's here and wants to say hi. Say hi to the people, Bowie. Say hi, guys. So happy to be here. Yeah, so happy to be here. Say, do you like bunnies? You don't like bunnies or you do like bunnies? No, you like sleeping next to me, okay. <laughs> In order to put these toe caps on, I'm gonna have to take the laces off. So I'm gonna take off the laces and then I'm going to take off the toe, the toe stop because you also have to do that in order to put the toe cap on. Okay, this is gonna be boring, so I'm gonna do this really quick and then I'm gonna come right back. I basically made the skate pretty close to naked, the most naked that it needs to be in order to do what we're gonna do. 
So with this guy, the first thing that we're gonna put on is we're gonna put this toe cap on and I'm gonna put it like this. And I'm gonna screw on the toe stop which I'm making sure to include these guys on there still because I wanna make sure that I can hear it just in case I start getting a loose toe stop. So I'm gonna put the toe cover on top of the toe stop. I'm gonna like just kinda of screw it in a bit to where I know that I'm probably gonna want it. I like my toe stops pretty high so I'm gonna put them like pretty high on here and then I'm going to screw it into this part right there. So I'm screwing it in here and this is the best way to make sure that like this toe cap stays on. We love to see it. I'm gonna do that and then I'm going to tighten it on here using a Y3 tool. And I always forget which direction but I think it's that direction. And I like to hold the toe cap really still because it can really easily get wrenched this way, like the way it already did a little bit. So I'm gonna undo it and then I'm gonna overcorrect and then retighten just so when it does tighten up, there we go. It's like in a proper placement. Then I'm going to re-stirring up or lace up my beach bunnies using this. And I'm going to, for this top part, the way I like to do it, is I lace through this part and then I lace into these top two holes here. And so it secures it really well, I think. So I'm gonna put my guys through here and there's a bunch of different ways that you can lace your skates. It's really up to preference. I have a whole video about different ways you can lace your skates that will help different things that you need with your skates or with your uh, the way you like your skates to fit. So I recommend that you watch that. But yeah, I basically pull this so that it's totally even, so that these are the same lengths on either side. And then I like to go under and pull through, get it started for myself. So I like to do this, but again, it is totally up to preference. Cause I think it like holds it down really well. You see how it like pushes it in there? And I'm gonna do it to this side as well. And the beach bunny is pretty stiff at first. Like you definitely have to break it in in order for it to get that softness. So I like to be a little bit more like forcing it into spots. Then I'm going to lace up the way I like to lace up. So I'm just gonna lace it all the way up right now really quickly. I can't wait to have my Arizona iced tea beach bunnies. I really miss the opportunity to be drinking an Arizona iced tea in this video. I guess when I compare my Arizona Iced Tea Beach Bunnies to my Arizona Iced Tea Jack 2's, I have to buy an Arizona Iced Tea and drink it. Okay. Look at her. She is cute. She is so cute. I love her. So now what we're going to do, now that we have the toe cap on and everything, is we're going to put some of these on here. And I think that we're going to use the side, the outer side, to put some of these like very cute stickers on. I'm not even sure, like I don't know. I'm just gonna go for it because I'm impulsive and I don't know how to. Oh my God. Wait, these remind me of something. These are like very, like the texture is very familiar to me. Oh no, I'm having that anxiety. Like what if I mess it up? Should I put it like here or here? I'm just gonna do it, I'm just gonna do it. Oh my God, oh my God, I'm just doing it. I feel like I'm so scared. Okay, okay, that actually looks so cute. So I put that up there at the top. It sticks on so easily, so nice. Um, love that. And then I'm gonna do the cherry blossoms on the other side of the skate from the other area I was thinking about doing it. I forgot that there are two sides to a skate. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do this one more towards the bottom, like coming up from the heel. Ooh, cute! Okay, so I put this one down here and then on the other side I put it up there. I'm obsessed with this. And then we have, of course, our Arizona iced tea and our Moxie logos and then a couple more little guys. I think I'm gonna I don't know, it's so hard. How do I decide? How do I decide? Okay, I'm gonna take these like longer guys. 
on the back stay, I think, like right here. I hope I don't regret this. I'm so scared. Feels like such high stakes, like sticker, stickering? Sticking? High stakes sticking. Oh, okay, I'm gonna do that one right there, and then there's another one, I'm gonna put it right there. I think that's perfect. Probably what they imagined when they were making this. I mean, I don't know, but I imagine. I feel like someone who is better at things like this would have planned it out ahead of time, but I don't like planning things out. And while that causes myself and other people in my life stress, <laughs> It's how I will forever probably live my life. So I'm thinking about putting something in the middle there since they don't exactly touch. I got this little Arizona iced tea. Okay, so what I like about this is that it's kind of furry. Does that make sense? <laughs> it's like kind of like the texture is really nice. Okay, that is cute. We love that. Okay, we have just two more stickers. Oh my God, I literally don't know where to put this. Maybe like in the corner here. Yeah, I'm gonna put it in the corner of this one. Cute. So I have a little in the corner there. And then I have, hmm. Okay, I'm definitely gonna put it just on top of the toe cap right here. It's perfect, it fits so well. Oh my God, cute. Okay, so this is the first skate. It looks like this. We've got this detailing here and the back and then on the front and these are the wheels. So this is the first one. I'm gonna do the other one with the other skate set, like the other wheel set up and stuff. So we're gonna do that really quick. So I already stripped this skate down. I hid it back here, even though I'm pretty sure you can see it the whole time. <laughs> okay, so I stripped it down already. I am going to put the toe cap on with the toe stop and then I took the bearings out of these wheels already and so I'm gonna put those bearings inside these, put them on, put the stickers on and then we're gonna compare them. Let's do it. Again, I am lowering this to what I like and then I'm sticking it in there. There are lots of controversial opinions about whether or not the washer goes on the inside or the outside of this. I honestly changed based off of how I'm feeling when I put it on there. <laughs> I used to have strong opinions and now I don't anymore. I no longer have a strong opinion about this. This is one of those things that I think is just kind of up to you. Whatever your heart desires, that's what you should do. Got this, I can do it. <gasps> oh no, I spilled my, I always spilling stuff. I literally spend so much of my life spilling things. Like I'm really out here spilling stuff all the time because I'm just such a klutz. I'm such a klutz and Shove typically like will save me, but Shove's not here right now. She can't save me. Shove's at work. Okay, nice. Okay, I am going to put these laces on. These crisscross laces are by Derby Laces and Rydell. They look like lemonade, pink lemonade. So pink, so yellow, so so perf, oh my God, I'm just like genuinely obsessed. It's like, what's your personality? Which Arizona iced tea can are you? Oh, if you were an Arizona iced tea can, which Arizona iced tea can would you be? I think if I was an Arizona iced tea can, I would be the kiwi strawberry can because she's so cute, she's pink, and it just feels like, you know, she's my vibe. Actually, I don't lace like every single lace with the beach bunnies because there's so many, so many holes um, that it's just like, I think it uses up too much of the laces. And I also think that with the beach bunnies, they are so like thick at first that you really don't need a lot of, I don't know, you don't need as much lacing as they offer you at first. And if you can see like, I don't know what this is maybe, oh, this is a 90 inch lace. So I would probably go with a little bit longer of a lace because look, I could only do that, but look at how cute that looks. Honestly, she's a vibe. I am, I am feeling her. Okay, so we're gonna not set my skate down where I spilled my Red Bull. And we're gonna put some of these bearings inside these wheels. And the way I put bearings inside my wheels is I use a bearing press. So there are many different ways. I have a video on how to put 
your bearings, how to change your bearings, how to put bearings inside your skates. But I like to do it this way. This investment to me was a million times percent worth it because it is so easy and I was definitely that person that was struggling all the time with just like, I don't know, the hand bear press, like I can do the bearing press with my hand and I can put bearings in and out like with different things, but this is just, it's so convenient, it's so easy. You can see that I'm doing it literally so fast right now. And they came out of the other wheels so fast as well. So I just feel like so worth it. I wanna say that me and Shove I don't remember, I don't remember if she got it for me or I got it for her or I got it for myself, but I feel like there, this was like a, a gift. I feel like earlier on in our relationship, we were just like randomly getting ourselves skate stuff. Like one year on Valentine's Day, she got me a helmet and it was the best because as y'all know, probably if you don't know now, you will know soon. Helmets are freaking expensive and I am a person who likes to fall a lot and when you fall on your helmet, uh, like direct hits, you have to change out your helmets. Like you have to get a new helmet because it stops having like as much safety to it once you've hit it a couple times. There is like a specific number. I am not the expert. I probably push that number sometimes. I shouldn't, I'm a bad example. But when helmets that are gonna be really good are expensive, sometimes it's just something that happens. Oh my God, oh my God. Okay, let's finish the other side. My God, I love an arts and crafts project. We all know this. I extra love an arts and crafts project that has to do with skates. I love a DIY kit. Like this is so fun, Arizona Ice Tea and Moxie. I am obsessed, what a fun little activity. Probably would have been even better if I had incorporated other people, but instead I just wanted to do it by myself. So yeah. <laughs> But then again, there's something really beautiful about like not taking anyone else's opinion and just kind of doing what you wanna do with your craft. Mm, yeah. It is time. Should I do something similar? I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna look at the other one and I'm just gonna go for what I feel is right because that's what we do. Like we could do symmetry or it could just end up being symmetry. I'm not sure. So I love the idea of the cherry blossom like crawling up the skate. So we're gonna put it again right there. Yes. So cute, probably very similar to where I put it before, but that's okay, it's fine. Um, and then I actually really liked my placement of the other ones, so we're probably gonna do that again. Oh my God, I'm sorry I'm not super exciting with this placement. I'm obsessed with how the other one, the backstay came out, so we're doing that again, I don't even care. I'm not even gonna front, like I'm not gonna do that same thing. Like I just loved it, I loved how it turned out. Okay, 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 oh my God, decisions. We're putting this one up here. Okay, because even though there's a big part of me that's like, let's just go crazy. I know that I like symmetry, so I know that I will like it. Oh my God, cute. Okay, so here are, here are the two skates. We've got this side. We've got this, the front. We've got this side. And then we've got the back. Oh my God, do you like how they turned out? I love them and can't wait to skate in them. But I need you to vote for me. I need you to tell me, do you like the one that is kind of like lemonade, like pink lemonade looking? Do you like this one better? Or do you like the one that's more like strong pink looking? Cause I need to switch one of them <laughs> to the other one. You vote, vote in the comments, let me know and I will switch them. What do you think? Oh my God, that was so fun. I love a DIY craft. Thank you, Arizona Ice Tea. Thank you, Moxie, this is so fun. Tune in to the next Arizona Ice Tea video in which I will skate in these and I will pull out my Arizona Ice Tea Jack 2s and I will compare the Arizona Ice Tea Beach Bunnies to the Arizona Ice Tea Jack 2s and show you the differences and similarities and um, all the things. So don't forget to tune in next time and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and head on over to cheersofthequeers.com where you can also get a bunch of different kinds of laces and things like skate charms that you can use to upcycle your skates, whatever skate setup they are.
And if you want to get some of the Moxie Arizona Beach Bunnies, head on over to drinkarizona.com where you can get this Moxie times Arizona iced tea collab roller skate. And go and have a beautiful day. And I love you so much. And I will see you next time. But most importantly, cheers to the queers. Mwah. I've got a